Hello, welcome to the Daily News Ukraine channel. Today is December 14th and our daily review of news about Ukraine. The European Union has provided 7.2 billion euros in macrofinancial assistance to Ukraine since the Russian full-scale invasion started. The relevant statement was made by Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmihal on Twitter, commenting on another tranche received from the EU and Ukraineform correspondent reports. Ukraine received the third 500 million euros tranche under the 5 billion euros exceptional macrofinancial assistance of the EU. Grateful to, President of the European Commission, Ed. Ursula von der Leyen and, European Commissioner for Trade, Ed. Daldas Dombrovskis for standing with us. So far, the EU dispersed 7.2 billion euros of macrofinancial assistance since Russian war started, Shmihal wrote. In his words, with the support of international partners, Ukraine will win this war. A reminder that, on December 14, 2022, the European Commission dispersed this year's last tranche of macrofinancial assistance to Ukraine, totaling 500 million euros. At least six civilians have been injured in Russia's shelling of the city of Kherson today. The relevant statement was made by Kherson Regional Prosecutor's Office on Facebook and Ukraineform correspondent reports. On December 14, 2022, in violation of international humanitarian law, Russian troops again opened fire on the city of Kherson, the report states. As a result, an administrative building was seriously damaged in downtown Kherson. Windows in the neighboring houses were blown out by a blast wave. One of detached houses caught fire after the enemy projectile hit its roof. At least six civilians received injuries of various severity levels. They are now receiving medical aid. According to the preliminary data, Russian occupiers shelled the city of Kherson with multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, from the temporarily occupied areas. Investigative actions are underway. A reminder that, on December 14, 2022, Russian troops struck the building of Kherson Regional Military Administration with MLRS. Two floors were reported damaged. On December 14, 2022, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky held another meeting of the staff of the Supreme Commander-in-Chief. The relevant statement was made by the Office of the President of Ukraine and Ukraineform correspondent reports. The members of the staff listened to the reports on the operational situation at the front and considered the current needs of the defense forces participating in repelling the armed aggression of the Russian Federation. The latest actions of the enemy and ways of countering them were also analyzed, the report states. According to the Office of the President of Ukraine, special attention was paid to ensuring security at the state border of Ukraine. Additionally, work continued on strengthening Ukraine's anti-aircraft and anti-missile defense, as well as the protection of energy infrastructure. The participants also considered progress in the restoration of Ukraine's energy system. A reminder that, between February 24, 2022 and December 14, 2022, Russia's total combat losses in Ukraine reached about 96,000 troops. Soldiers of the 71st Separate Hunting Brigade of the Ukrainian Airborne Assault Forces destroyed enemy positions near Bakhmut, Donetsk region. This is said in a report posted on the Telegram channel of the Ukrainian Air Assault Forces, according to Ukraineform. Assault units of the 71st Separate Hunting Brigade of the Ukrainian Air Assault Forces, together with other units of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, took up enemy positions outside Bakhmut, the report says. At first, the invaders' fortifications were covered several times by artillery and mortar fire. Then the paratroopers carefully take up enemy positions. They completed the final resistance of the Russian invaders. In general, about a dozen invaders were eliminated, the report says. As reported by Ukraineform, the armed forces of Ukraine eliminated about 96,000 Russian invaders in Ukraine from February 24 to December 14, 2022. I. Ukraine returned 64 warriors from Russian captivity as part of another exchange of prisoners of war on Wednesday, December 14. This was announced by head of the president's office, Andrei Yermak, on Telegram, Ukraineform reports. 
64 servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine, who fought in the Donetsk and Luhansk directions, in particular, participated in the defense of Bakhmut city, are going home. These are officers, privates, and sergeants, our heroes, Yermak wrote. Script async src equals https forward slash forward slash telegram dot org slash js slash telegram widget dot js 21 data telegram post equals ermica 2022 slash 17 71 data width equals 100 percent slash script. He noted that it was also possible to free a U.S. citizen who helped Ukrainian people, Swati Mirakizi. Ukraine also returned the bodies of the four dead defenders, Yermak said. The Ministry of Defense specified that 59 representatives of the armed forces of Ukraine were released, including four officers, as well as five warriors of the territorial defense. At least 23 of them have injuries. Some of them are in serious condition. As Ukraineform reported, as part of another exchange of prisoners of war on December 6, Ukraine returned 60 warriors from Russian captivity, including 34 defenders of Mariupol. Photo, Andrei Yermak, Telegram I. On December 14, the invaders shelled the building of the Kherson Regional Military Administration with multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS. Two floors of the building were damaged. Kirill Tymoshenko, deputy head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, published a relevant report on Telegram, according to Ukraine Forum. Script async src equals https forward slash forward slash telegram dot org slash js slash telegram widget dot js 21 data telegram post equals Timoshenko underscore Kirillo slash 3076 data width equals 100 percent slash script around 11 o'clock MLRS missiles hit the center of Kherson. Shells hit the building of the Kherson Regional Military Administration. Two floors were damaged, Timoshenko wrote. According to preliminary information, there were no casualties. As reported, a fire broke out in a warehouse as a result of the morning shelling of Kherson. I. Germany will contribute 30 million euros for the purchase of equipment to restore the Ukrainian energy infrastructure damaged by Russian shelling. This is said in a statement released by the Ukrainian Ministry of Energy, Ukraineform reports. Within the framework of the German-Ukrainian Energy Partnership, the federal government of Germany announced a €30 million Euros contribution for the purchase of equipment for restoring Ukraine's energy infrastructure damaged by Russian shelling. The corresponding funds will be directed to the Ukraine Energy Support Fund, established by the Energy Community Secretariat, the report says. According to the Minister of Energy Hermann Galishchenko, the purchased equipment will help to restore electricity supply to the population as soon as possible during this winter. In April, the Energy Community created the Ukraine Energy Support Fund. Consolidated funds from the fund's donors are used to restore the energy infrastructure damaged or destroyed as a result of hostilities in Ukraine. The first donor to the fund was the Danish government. I. In Kiev, the fragment of a downed enemy drone damaged the car of a local resident. The Kiev City Military Administration wrote this on its Telegram channel, Ukrainform reports. The city administration notes that information about the consequences of the morning drone attack on Kiev is being verified. Kiev's patrol police received a report from a resident of the Shevchenkivsky district, whose car was damaged by the fragment of a downed UAV, the report says. As Ukraineform reported, President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Russian invaders launched on Wednesday morning 13 Shahid Kamikaze drones at Ukraine, all of which were shot down by the Ukrainian Air Defense Forces. I. The Russian troops killed one civilian and injured three more in Ukraine on December 13. Kirill Tymoshenko, deputy head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, published a relevant report on Telegram, referring to data provided by regional military administrations, according to Ukraine Forum. Read also, Ukraine army repels enemy attacks near 14 settlements, in particular, one civilian was killed and another one was injured in Kherson region. Two more civilians were injured in Donetsk region. As Ukraine Forum reported, nine regions in Ukraine came under enemy shelling on December 13. I. The Russian invaders shelled the center and north of Donetsk region at night and in the morning. 
Kurikov was attacked with S-300 missiles. Pavlo Kirilenko, head of the Donetsk Regional Military Administration, wrote this on Telegram and posted relevant photos, Ukraine form reports. Script async src equals https forward slash forward slash telegram dot org slash js slash telegram widget dot js 21 data telegram post equals Pavel Kirilenko underscore nota slash 5892 data width equals 100% slash script. There are no victims in Donetsk direction, but there is destruction. After midnight, the Russians attacked Kurikov with S 300s and shelled Kurikivka, two houses and an enterprise building were damaged. Marienka, Krasnohorivka, Novomykhailivka, and Hirhivka were under artillery fire. In Krasnohorivka, a house was hit, the regents had wrote. He noted that the invaders also shelled the Soldar community in the direction of Horlivka. In the direction of Lysikansk, the Russians fired more than 30 shells at Torsky and Zarykn in the Lyman community. No casualties have been reported. I. Today we were talking about those news. EU provided 7.2 billion euros in macrofinancial assistance to Ukraine since war started, PM Shmihal. Six civilians injured in Russia's shelling of Kherson. Zelensky holds meeting of staff of Supreme Commander-in-Chief to discuss border security. Ukrainian paratroopers destroy enemy positions near Bakhmut. Ukraine returns another 64 defenders from Russian captivity. Russian shell Kherson administration's building damaging two floors. Germany announces 30 million euros contribution to Ukraine Energy Support Fund. Fragment of down drone damaged car of Kyiv resident. Russian forces killed one civilian, injured three more in Ukraine on December 13. Invaders shell Korokov with S-300 missiles.